Right, so communication company uses a program to calculate average data usage over a 12 month period. Here's an example for months. So we've got the month and then how much data they used. Notice that these ones, they're real numbers. They're not integers. So just because the first value is an integer, don't assume that the whole list is. It says data usage for the company for the customer in May is 35.7. The value will be stored using floating point. So 357 times 10 to the 2. So this is the Mentissa and this is the exponent. The design shows the customer's average data is calculated and displayed. So store the month, each month's data usage. And I'm going to add in here. That's in an array, which we'll see in a minute. Calculate the average and display the average. So this step two is really quite a big step, although it's presented as one of three. There's a lot going on here. So the variable av data is used to store the average. So that's where I'm getting av data down here. That's what I'm calling it, instead of calling it average. The data structure month, so that is an array. And I know it's an array because if I look at the top, this is the month array up here. And I've got like 12 values along there. So what you want to do is loop 12 times because you know you're looping for each month. And then this thing, month loop. So I could have that, I might have had square bracket i, square bracket counter. As a design notation, it doesn't really matter exactly what I've called that. Um, the point is that this is for the array, so I'm getting one thing out of the array. I'm adding that to the total because if I'm going to work at an average, I need to I need to break it down. So effectively, I need to do a running total. So the first three lines are a running total. Then the last line is an average after that. And I'm working it out by dividing the total by 12. This was something that when you did a similar question in the prelim, some people tried to kind of write, work out the total, work out the average. And that's not enough detail. How are you going to break down the total? So you need to use a standard algorithm and get a running total. Because look at the number of marks here. So it's not just one or two steps. Customer's average monthly data is displayed following code, so we see 23.3123, using a programming language of your choice, rewrite the code so the customer's average will display the following. So you can see there I've got the variable name as avData, and that's why I've used that down below. So rewrite the code so it will display with the following, so I've used a round function. So I'm rounding it to one decimal place. So to do that in Python, that's my function, and then, oops, that says 2, that should say 1, because that's to one decimal place. So, this is my function, and these are my parameters. And the two marks there, essentially one mark for the function and one mark for the parameters, both being right. Um, something that people tend to do is you maybe only write one of the parameters. Like if you said something like round brackets one, but what is it that you're rounding? You need to know what variable it is that you're rounding. Following code checks, uh, if the customer receives a mobile data and broadband for offering them a discount, identify the logical operator. So we've got an and in there. There's no or or not in there. 
if we compare that to maybe like the 2022 question where there was one of each so the only one that's in there is there's an and during translation so that's important program stops and produces an error at line 48 so the program never really got to run it was still being translated state type of error so syntax and we know that that's because it crashed during the translation and then what is the syntax error where well, we look at line 48 this is where the error is so we'll set cost discount and we see there's a space if you compare that to this there's an extra space, so remove the space at line 48, so it says cost discount. Syntax error there was just that they put a, a space in the middle of that.